You know what I miss? McDonald's fajitas, shaken fries, and damn it, even the Arch Deluxe. If you're like me and you're tired of the same old menu, try this out the next time you stop by the Golden Arches. Alright, let's go over what you need. For the McGangbang, you'll need a McDouble and a Junior McChicken. For the Apple Pie a la mode McFlurry, you'll need a pie, an ice cream cone, and an empty McFlurry cup and spoon. To start it off, split the McDouble in half right in between the two beef patties. Now just throw your Junior Chicken inside. Close it up and that's it already for the burger. If you're hungry, you can also go with a double cheeseburger and a regular McChicken. It comes out to a little bit taller than a Big Mac, so it's not too bad to eat. And finally, it's time for the McFlurry. You need to first place the cone inside the empty cup, upside down. By the way, the cup and spoon are free, so make sure you ask for it when you order your food. Break up the cone into a few pieces while it's in the cup. Now break the apple pie into pieces just like the cone and add it in. I chose an apple pie, but I heard it also works well with blueberry pies. Quick, grab your spoon and we're almost there. You now just need to mix it all up together. It's up to you at this point on how much to break up the ice cream cone and the apple pie. Now I'll be honest, it's not really the most pleasant thing to look at, but trust me, it tastes a lot better than it looks. And that's how to make a McGangbang and Apple Pie a la mode McFlurry. My god, it's beautiful. Alright, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. It's actually my first one, so I would really appreciate any feedback. Please subscribe and check out these other videos. See you soon.